Good afternoon. I believe these bills threaten our ability to preserve America's global leadership and to safeguard the security and prosperity of the American people in the post-Cold War world. The world is still full of dangers, but more full of opportunities. And the United States must be able to act aggressively to combat foreign threats and to make commitments and then to keep those commitments. These bills would deprive us of both those capabilities. Supporters of the bills call them necessary cost-cutting measures. American Overseas Interests Act, which is being debated on the House floor just this week, would compromise our efforts to stop North Korea's nuclear program, impose conditions that could derail our support for democratic reform in Russia, and restrict the President's ability to prevent illegal immigration. The bill would also mandate an ill-conceived restructuring of agencies responsible for our foreign affairs. Taken together, these constraints represent nothing less than a frontal assault on the authority of the President to conduct the foreign policy of the United States and on our nation's ability to respond rapidly and effectively to threats to our security. But it is not too late to reconsider. These are dangerous proposals. Our administration is ready to work with Congress and I remain hopeful that the long tradition of bipartisanship in foreign affairs, which I have appreciated and been a part of, will continue throughout this session of Congress. I urge Congress to send me a bill that protects the fundamental interests of the American people, a bill that I can sign. We'll veto it. If this bill passes in its present form, I will veto it, yes. I believe these bills threaten our ability to preserve America's global leadership and to safeguard the security and prosperity of the American people in the post-Cold War world.